So the Yankees sweep this three-game set against the Toronto Blue Jays, and there's things to pick out. And, and one of the things you pick out is the progress of Greg Bird. The Yankees have certainly been patient. They've been waiting. They've been wondering. But then he hits a grand slam in the first inning. And then you kind of realize again, David, why they love this guy in this ballpark. Well, it's true. And you keep waiting, and you said it just right. And Aaron Boone sent some messages to Greg Bird. He's sat him against tough left-handed pitchers, and he's kind of sent him a message of, you need to be more aggressive. I want to see some sense of urgency. And Greg Bird responded this weekend. He is the story of the weekend, the story of this finale here. The Yankees sweep the Blue Jays. Uh, and that's no small thing, even though if you look the Red Sox are having a historic pace of a season. The Oakland A's are, too. The Oakland A's are coming up in the rearview mirror. So the Yankees got to look both ways. And uh, there's still plenty of time left for the Yankees. But nonetheless, you want to feel good about yourselves. And you need Greg Bird, especially with Aaron Judge out of the lineup. And it was an impressive bounce back. Now, are the Blue Jays having a good year? Of course they're not. But when you lose two out of three to the Tampa Bay Rays, and in the final two games, each game you score a run, you could be a little bit down in the dumps as well. They came back, and they swept this three-game series to go 32 games over. 500 which is the highest they've been since the end of the 2011 season and as Paul said you know you can't just dismiss that 32 games over 500 is a great season unfortunately for the Yankees the Red Sox are having a better season yeah it is and you know to give the Red Sox credit they, they had they have shown no signs in slowing down if the Yankees went 500 the rest of the way they had a 500 record the rest of the way they'd win 97 games they're on a pace to win 102 games and uh, that could pick up if they get Aaron Judge back and get Gary Sanchez back and I think that's the story Jay Happ is great. He was a perfect addition. Lance Lynn had a little bad first inning the other night, but he's a professional pitcher and another depth piece, piece that's going to really help them. But you want to see the Yankees full Monty. You want to see Gary Sanchez right and healthy. You want to see Aaron Judge right and healthy. And then we'll see where they are. And we say, you know, tread water. They've done more than that without those two big pieces in the lineup. In fact, without Aaron Judge in the lineup, they've averaged more runs per game than when they had him in the lineup previously. So they've done the job. It's the pitching that's been a little sketchy at times. Now they enjoy an off day. They haven't had one in about three weeks. And uh, then they start the two-game set against Miami.